is H7396, Representative Ackerman. Thank you, Chairman, and thank you, committee members. Because new data is showing rates of colorectal cancer are increasing in younger populations, the American Cancer Society has lowered their recommendation for screening to 45 years. It is the third most common cause of cancer in both men and women in the United States. Here in Rhode Island, an estimated 470 new colorectal cancer cases were diagnosed in 2019. With House Bill 7396, we have an opportunity to change cancer diagnosis and the death rates in Rhode Island. The goal of this bill is to make sure that Rhode Islanders are not deterred from getting a colonoscopy after having a positive cologar test by having high cost sharing bills. There are too many situations when a patient takes a cologar test, receives a positive result, and is advised to get a colonoscopy only to find out that their insurance will not guarantee coverage for both tests that are screening tests. We look to guarantee that both of those are covered by this bill. And the bottom line, screening tests should always include a colonoscopy as it is the most effective for the prevention of colorectal cancer. For every dollar we spend on these screenings, we will save $3 on treatment costs. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Representative Ackerman. Any questions for the representative before we call the witnesses up? Hearing that, thank you, Representative Ackerman. Okay, we have three people that signed up. Uh, Karen Malcolm, it looks like, from Protect American Health Care Coalition. She's in favor, but not speaking. Marie Ganim from the OHIC is, has neutral, but is not speaking. She's submitted written testimony. And Rich Glucksman from Blue Cross Blue Shield has concerns, not speaking, but is supplied written testimony. So we're gonna bring up a few doctors so we can get them back. Dr. Wafik El Dieri, I hope it is, from Brown University. Dr. Alan Adrian and Dr. Samia Shah. If those three would come up first and then we'll get to the next ones afterwards. Dr. El Deary, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Yeah, that's right. Thank Thanks. you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Hear me okay? Button has to be up. Has to be up. Um, okay, so. Um, I'm a uh, physician who takes care of patients with uh, colon cancer. Uh, I uh, trained at uh, Johns Hopkins years ago. I spent many years at the University of Pennsylvania, uh, Penn State University, Fox Chase, and uh, more recently, I see patients at the uh, Lifespan Cancer Institute at Rhode Island Hospital. And I am the uh, one of the physicians who sees patients come with advanced disease because it's been missed or not detected early, screened and prevented. And uh, the patients who I take care of end up having to undergo many months of chemotherapy treatments with a lot of uh, side effects and, you know, they miss work and, you know, their whole life is, uh, you know, altered by their diagnosis. And we know colon cancer is uh, preventable if it's detected early, is curable. And they're just, we need to do everything possible to increase screening for colorectal cancer. All around the country and Rhode Island and Providence is no different. We are not doing enough screening to detect colon cancer early and basically this saves lives and uh, saves money and is uh, very much uh, worth uh, doing and supporting fully uh, to help people live healthier and longer and not have to suffer from what happens when the disease spreads and, and needs other forms of treatment. And by that point, very few people survive at five years. Uh, you know, it's it's, about 14%, um, whereas if it's detected early, sometimes it's completely cured and the survival is much, much higher uh, for those uh, patients. 